Hey guys, just another micro drones frame swap video. Should be pretty quick. I'm uh, getting a little bored of the Chaser 88 and I'm going to take the electronics out of this frame, which is this up and down pod in the middle. I kind of don't like this so much because the camera is really exposed. And I'm going to put it into this 3D printed frame. This is called the RIAC105. Uh, Comes in two versions for a 20 by 20 and a 16 by 16 flight controller stack. And I think it uses the uh, CM275T all-in-one camera and 1103 motors. I think that's what it was specified for. But uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to check this out. Uh, took about an hour to print this, and I just printed this in PLA. Uh, probably would be better to print it in like something strong like ABS or nylon, but my printer doesn't do that. So we'll just uh, see how it goes. It's actually, the frame's fairly stiff for what it is, and it weighs about 11 and a half grams. So I'll have to compare what the weight is uh, before and after. Okay, so here it is all completed. It was actually really easy. It only took me about 20 minutes to swap over the parts. I did uh, change the receiver. I'm not using the uh, A8S anymore. So I went with a smaller receiver and I saved a little bit of weight. So this was the receiver that was on there before. And I'm using the RX2A FlySky receiver. It still does iBus and it still works with my Turingi Evolution. Uh, I know that some of you were asking me about a range test for this and so um, I think I'll do another video later with uh, a range test on this guy. I did do a hover test on this and it flies uh, just fine. It sounds really smooth. The, even though these motors are really janky, I've crashed the Chaser 88 a lot so these motors are really rough right now. But uh, the flight seems smooth, so we'll have to see what the uh, video looks like when I do the FPV. But uh, yeah, uh, here's a closer look at the, put, the way it was put together. It's the same parts, um, nothing really changed. I, I got rid of the connector for the FPV camera. I'm, I just direct soldered it on this time, just to save a little bit more weight. So I'm down to 49 grams from 55 grams. And um, of course I'm not using the uh, same camera that was on the original Chase 388. This is the uh, AKK BS2. Um, I, when I uh, did a video for this camera, I swapped out that camera on the Chase 388 and I moved over to this one. This frame uh, fits the this camera perfectly. It also fits the uh, CM275T and the VM275T perfectly. I did wedge a little bit of foam on the bottom there to keep that angle so it wouldn't pop back. So it's a little bit of foam there wedged between the camera and the flight controller. I did switch the props to the Racer Star. I think these are the 2030s four bladed. Same motors. And I'm using rubber bands to hold my battery on. Um, other than that, not a whole lot. That's different. It's the same parts. Just a different frame. And I'll have a little bit of flight video here for you guys to see how this flies. Okay, so I tried flying this on the uh, red Racer Star props, and those are no good. So you don't get those. Uh, get these instead. These are the uh, Gem Van four bladed uh, 2035. So I'll put a link in the description to these. These are very balanced, very smooth, and uh, didn't cause any uh, oscillations and vibrations in, in the whole thing, which was causing the to fly very poorly. So it flies really well now on these on these props, and these are very durable props as well. I crashed this into uh, the sidewalk, into some trees, into the grass, pretty much all over the place. Oh, and actually, I'll put all the little crashes uh, clips uh, in the video as well. You can see those for yourself. And I've survived all of those crashes with uh, not a scratch on it. I don't know how that's possible. Even with uh, smashing into the sidewalk, it, it did nothing happened to it. So I don't know. I know that there's a lot of negativity out there, uh, people saying that, oh, you shouldn't even bother with this because it'll just break. And I was expecting it to break. In fact, I, I printed a second one because I was expecting it to break so I can just transfer the parts over again. And I flew it as if it was a carbon frame. Um, didn't fly it any differently. Just flew it like I normally would. And if it broke, it broke. I was fine. I was totally fine with that. Uh, it hasn't broken yet. So really impressed with this design. I didn't do anything to the PLA. It's, uh, I didn't bake it or anything like that. It's just straight off the printer. Uh, I'm pretty impressed at the durability. And so yeah, if you're, if you're looking for a beater micro, this is probably the frame to get um, if you don't mind uh, 
perhaps breaking it and have to print another one, but yeah, you know, it's not that much to print another one. And I'm so really surprised at how well these gem fan props work. These motors are really janked up. You can hear it here. Let me uh, see if you can listen to the motors. You can hear that. The bearings are all janked up in all of them, but it flies smooth, it flies fast. I think you'll be impressed, and I was pretty impressed. I think I'm going to be looking for more of these uh, 3D um, designs on Thingiverse, and I'll probably bring a few more videos to you guys if I find any frames that are, are interesting and worth building. Anyway guys, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Talk to you guys later.